Hey guys, welcome and to some of you, welcome back. In today's video, I'm actually taking the F-16 and I'm testing it for its performance, specifically turn performance. Three weeks or so ago, ED released the update for the F-16. When I first got it, it seemed too good to be true. It seemed just like too good of a plane. So I said, let me go ahead and, and test some of the performance, specifically turns. So let's get right into it and, and show you what I found. Okay, I'm gonna test the three altitudes. That's what I found envelopes for. Uh, basically, it's sea level, 10,000 feet, and 30,000 feet. Okay, let's go right into the sea level. There's two types of tests, two types of turns, sustained and instantaneous. I'm not going to explain what those are. Please go ahead and Google them if you don't know. Okay, so let's first look at the sustained here. Uh, the purple line is what is expected from the plane. Uh, this is what the airplane should, should do as far as performance. The green dots, that is what I got. So... If we look at it, we actually see that the green dots are right on that line. Anything under Mach 0.9 is right on the money. It's very accurate. The performance flares up a little bit after Mach 0.9, after actually Mach 1.0, and that is a little bit of an overperformance. But for dogfights, for our purposes in DCS, this is, this is it. All right, now the next one is going to be instantaneous turns. That's the red line. That's what it should perform and here are the orange dots that's what I got out of it and you can see that it's right there it's right on the line it's, there's a maybe half a degree of overperformance at, at its peak but because this is instantaneous turns and the speed drops rapidly literally that is not that much of an overperformance I mean this is almost as good as it gets so for sea level under Mach 0.9 I would say this F-16 is right on the money Let's go to 10,000 feet. Uh, 10,000 feet here is the sustain, the purple line, and here is my performance. You can see the green dots. The green dots follow the curve, so um, I'm, I'm pretty confident about my testing, about doing it right. So you can see that uh, under Mach 0.9, it's very accurate. It's right on that line. It starts to overperform above Mach 0.9 a little bit, but then again, uh, we're not going to dogfight in Mach 1.0, so um, for our for our purposes in DCS, this sustained right here at 10,000 feet on the money. It's right on the money. Okay, let's go to the instantaneous red line, and that's what it should perform. And then you get the orange dots. This is what I got here. There is, seems to be a little bit of old performance, about a degree or degree and a half, um, at, at least at, the, at its peak around Mach 0.8, Mach 0.7, um, but for all, all intensive purposes, because this is instantaneous, you're literally talking a, a few degrees of, of, of edge, because this speed is going to drop with a matter of seconds. So, you know, if the speed drops within 15 seconds, you, what do you have? An like extra 15 degrees of performance. So, you know, this is, uh, this is pretty accurate. So at 10,000 feet, I would call this, uh, even though it's a little bit overperforming, it's pretty there on the money. You can see it follows the curve, so I'm pretty confident about that testing too. And there's no point to testing instantaneous above, uh, you know, Mach 0.8 because basically you're in the blackout zone. It's not like you're going to get any extra performance. You know, you're just going to blackout. Okay, uh, the let's go to 30,000 feet. Here is the sustain, the purple line, and here is what I got out of it. And here you can kind of see, all right, at this point, the sustained is underperforming. Um, again, my curve does follow the sustained curve. It's just underperforming, but, but uh, you know, a degree or two. Again, this is 30,000 feet. Does it affect us in DCS? Do you dogfight at 30,000 feet? Maybe. But oh, in this case, the uh, F-16 is underperforming. And this is what some of the pilots have reported, that there is some underperformance. Now let's go to the instantaneous. And this is the first time that my curve kind of doesn't follow exactly the, uh, the instantaneous curve. To make sure, I've, I've read this test many times, and I got the same basic results every time. So in this case, we kind of see that it underperforms until it gets to about Mach 0.8, then it overperforms with a peak to about Mach 0.105, and then it underperforms again. Uh, so advantage, disadvantage, so it is what it is in this case. Now I don't have 20,000 feet. I haven't found the, the performance diagrams for for 20,000 feet. 
So if we interpolate between 10,000 and 30,000 feet, you can see that this airplane is very accurate um, anywhere from uh, sea level to 20,000 feet and specifically under Mach 0.9. That envelope on the F-16, that's on the money, guys. I uh, hope you like this video. I hope you like the results. I hope you're encouraged by these results. Take care, guys, and I'll see you guys soon.